Frit. All right, so this is a great example of a multi-material battery that is done using DuPont materials. So I will call attention to starting after the external case, we have a flame barrier material made out of Nomex. So that is designed to prevent any intrusion or any flame to come out. And it kind of holds the temperature in so you have enough time to egress wherever you are and the flame is contained for a period of time. Now, another material from DuPont that's easy to see here, this is our thermally conducted gap fluid. So it is put in place and it's thermally conducted. Then what you're gonna do on this particular construction, you're gonna get a structure like this where the cylindrical cells are gonna be placed. And then you're gonna put it in place here and you're gonna then force it down and make sure that it's completely attached to the entire structure of the battery. So now this is your heat sink. So you're gonna have coolant lines going underneath that. So that's kind of a, how the adhesive, because it's thermally conductive, is gonna help the performance of those batteries. Now, along with that, we're gonna have here uh, a reinforcement with Kevlar. And this is used in the bus bar collector to prevent, uh, in case you have an impact, and I guess this is a, a more defective uh, position of it. If you have an impact coming from here, from external to the battery, it hits the area, this metal breaks, this Kevlar sleeve is gonna prevent the breakage of the metal from creating a material that is gonna protrude and then enter the batteries themselves. So it will avoid uh, a puncture into the cells and that will for sure avoid a thermal issue. That is a very common thing.